We got some pretty major drama going on on Roblox today and also do with Creecraft, which are pretty surprising because out of all the YouTubers, I feel like Creecraft is out of drama for the most part. However, it doesn't really seem to be his fault. And before we're trying to reach 10k by the end of the month, then we're so close. But we're also running out of time, so please subscribe and let's get into it. I also want to say I did talk about this on the main channel, but a bunch of my information came out, so I thought I'd break it all down right now. Alright, so this all stems from like a week ago now or whatever. Creecraft getting his original and like iconic hat deleted on Roblox, and the item got fully deleted and he got a warning for it. And the reason for this was apparently the DSA. Which if you're not aware of like the whole DSA method going on in Roblox right now is basically it's like a new European law so European users can now use a European DSA report form which seems good you know reporting illegal content but also with that being said this DSA form has been abused like crazy and people use it to actually target YouTubers and also just people in general because there's some specific stuff you can target and get items deleted pretty easily like for example any blood even the small quantities can get deleted pretty easily and also anything that uses like the Roblox logo people are targeting as well which is why Creators had got taken down it had like the Roblox logo on it which is why apparently it got taken down according to Creecraft. And with that being said Creecraft made a whole video on this called why did Roblox leave my hat and he talked about basically what I just said the DSA form the DSA problem on Roblox and also why his hat got deleted which seems harmless you know his hat got deleted he was upset a little bit but also he also said it made sense because I mean to be fair it did have the Roblox logo it is kind of dumb because he made that ad like four years ago when this wasn't a rule but I guess it's fine but this actually did cause some drama because peak UGC here we have called out in the video I don't think he pointed the finger directly at them but he said that they might be the people behind this which is fair by the way because if you guys don't know peak UGC has been kind of the culprit apparently for some DSA in the past and they also heavily advertise the DSA method but also with that being said I'm pretty sure that they've kind of fostered a community where people DSA other people so sometimes it's not even directly them but people in their community do it so they get you know the blame for it and Griff called them out in the video I'm pretty sure and he also made a Twitter post here not directly saying to them but it seemed like he was kind of hinting at them and also just in general kind of saying that it could have been PQGC and stuff like that and it seems like the drama should end here you know Creative Cloud is high deleted, it got DSA'd, DSA is a bad problem obviously, and then just move on, right? But no, this actually caused a bunch of drama in the community because PQGC kind of fought back, being like, this is messed up from Creecraft. They followed up with a pretty insane post just saying, Creecraft, I'm not responsible for your high deletion. If you actually read the warning note, it's from a DMCA request. This has absolutely nothing to do with the DSA form. You've made defamatory statements due to your inability to do simple research, which is obviously a big claim. But as we can see by a tweet here, having 100 likes to 200,000 views, no one agrees with this post at all, and everyone's just saying that they're lying and kind of deflecting it when it was probably dumb who did it. And even if it wasn't dumb who did it, I hope you're saying they're just lying here because the information is not even correct. First of all, this was a product of the DSA and his items got deleted, and he also called them out when the Screencast situation happened, just saying they're probably lying. And he followed up again today saying that, yeah, just as I thought, DSA reports and rules IP will show as a DMCA report ban. PQC will never admit he is wrong, and it will never admit he built a community of very little keyword warriors. So yeah, like I mentioned, he has like a community around him, which also does this stuff. So sometimes it's not directly the person, but the community he fostered. And then he continues saying, what an actual scumbag. Sorry about your hat, Creek. So yeah, pretty horrible situation going on on Roblox right now. It's a pretty big drama also. You know, they're accusing Creek of being a liar and stuff like that. But to be fair, it seems like they're the ones who are actually lying. Now also with that being said, with all this Creekcraft drama going on right now, there's actually been another Creekcraft situation that I kind of saw that I forgot to talk about in my main video, where besides the whole DSA issue going on in Rolls right now, before that he actually made a video called This Rolls Player Died, which is kind of crazy. But to be fair, the video's not real, I'm pretty sure. He's just covering like a fake myth kind of thing, where he just goes on like this fun little hunt that's all made up. It's not actually serious. But with that being said, this video also got into some controversy because a lot of people are saying like, it's kind of weird to clickbait a death. And also some people are just like, laughing at the video because in the first like three seconds, it literally says a person was online and he's claiming they died so that doesn't make any sense but besides that a lot of people are just saying it's kind of weird to you know make a video about death and stuff like that and kind of clickbait it which i understand but to be fair i'm pretty sure this whole thing is just like a whole made up story you know it's not like he actually clickbaited a real death which would be messed up i can see where they're coming from still it is kind of a crazy video to make but i don't think it's that deep considering you know it's just like a myth story that he's covering just for fun it's not actually a serious case i don't know let me know what you guys think about all that because i've seen pretty mixed opinions on it some people think it's fine this is not real some people think it's messed up just the whole concept of it let me know what you think but just some other drama there that some people are getting mad at Krieger for but besides that just in general i feel like most of the drama towards Krieger for right now especially the pqd thing is kind of dumb because he didn't even do anything it seems like people were just pointing the finger at him calling him a liar and stuff like that when nothing really happened all that really happened was his hack got deleted he's the only one in the loss here actually so in general with that being said some major drama going on in roblox right now and also people just mad at Krieger for the other video but the main thing is the UGC drama. Also with that being said though, over these past few days, the whole DSA report issue thing has gotten way worse. Because as Krikaf showed in his video, he only got a warning for his item. And in the past when I covered other DSA stuff, 
people only got like a three day ban at max I've seen. But recently, I saw someone actually got a full account deletion and apparently that's just gonna be happening now, which is actually insane. And what's worse about that post is a person literally said that they begged Roblox to delete their item and Rolls just said they can't do anything about it, which is super horrible because not only is this drama just bad in general, but now the drama is being pointed back at Roblox because it's already bad number one that this issue exists. People are reporting people are falsely and stuff like that, but it's also 10 times worse because even if it happens to you, there's literally nothing you can do about it because Rolls just doesn't listen, which is so horrible. And every single layer of this whole DSA thing has been like so garbage and just messed up. The report form is being abused, which kind of sucks because they actually have potential to be very good. People are being targeted and people who actually effort into their items and stuff like that are losing their items. And then if people want to get their items deleted, Rolls doesn't listen to them and it might lead to a full account deletion and then on top of that there's been some drama with screen graph and stuff like that which honestly seems kind of dumb so in general pretty insane situation going on on roblox right now and like i mentioned i just feel like it's kind of all dumb you know like screen graph didn't really do much all he really did was get his like hat deleted and then covered a video on it and then pqc started freaking out being like no we didn't do anything about that didn't do anything about that which i mean it could be true it could be true that they didn't have a hand in it but like Sharkwells mentioned, apparently that report thing is from a DSA thing. So it had to be a DSA. It could have been someone from their community, it could have been someone in general, but it seems like a lot of people are saying that they're lying. And lastly, with that being said, I should say, don't go to hate to anyone in this video that I mentioned, even PQGC. It's literally unneeded and it doesn't help anyone. And Krieghoff also mentioned in his video, he didn't call up public UGC or PQGC, sorry, directly, but he also said, like, it's not that big of a deal. He understands why I got deleted and he's gonna move on, you know? And also with that being said, let me know what you guys think about all this drama going on. Let me know your thoughts on the general DSA problem and also if you think Krieghoff's in the wrong. Because in my opinion, I feel like he didn't even do anything here. People are just calling him out for being a liar and stuff like that just out of nowhere. You know, it's pretty crazy what's going on. But the other quick of drama, I can see why if you're potentially mad, but I still don't think it's that deep since it's literally just like a Roblox myth or something too insane. I can see, you know, maybe if you're saying he clickbaited death because the whole concept of it is kind of, you know, crazy to make a video on, but I feel like it wasn't the worst thing in the world compared to some people who actually do clickbait real death. Which we've actually seen in the Rolls community before, I'm pretty sure, which is insane. But yeah, with that being said, just some drama today. Dumb drama at that, but I mean, it is Roblox. Sorry, I'm surprised. Alright, before this video ends, as I'm adding this, I realized something kind of insane in Krieghoff's video, right at the end of it. He actually mentioned that he actually reported all this stuff, the whole DSA reform, people abusing it, and also peak UGC and everything like that to Roblox. And he stated that Rolls is aware of peak UGC and those people behind like the group and everything, and like the community they fostered, and also people abusing the form in general. And he said with all the information that like star creators gave them, including him, they're investigating the issue right now and stuff like that, which is very good. As I mentioned previously in the video, a lot of the blame was put onto Roblox because of how they handle situations, but it seems like they are looking into it and hopefully fixing the issue, which is very good because as I showed you guys, it's a massive issue going on right now, you know? People's accounts getting deleted is horrible. So hopefully everything gets fixed and hopefully it's not easy to abuse it. But I guess we have to wait and see. Because typically with Roblox, when they say they're doing something, it's just not true, you know what I mean? So we have to wait and see. And hopefully it does get fixed though. And if you enjoyed, check this video for some more news. And I'll see you in the next one.